All right, in this lesson here, we're gonna go ahead and set the next thing up, which should be, let's do the enemy next. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, let's get rid of this wall. We don't need it anymore. Yeah, sure, it's big enough, I can fly into those. All right, so let's go ahead, we'll take one of our enemy prefabs. Let's go ahead, drag and drop it in. I'm gonna go ahead, zero him out. I wanna zoom in on him. Did I drag a spawner in? I did. I wanted an enemy. There we go. Let's go ahead. We'll zero him out. Maybe. I'll zoom in on him. And let's go ahead and grab our enemy probe here, which was the free droid. Let's go ahead, drag and drop him in. I guess we're going to have to zero him out too. Uh, I'm going to change his name to enemy droid. And let's go ahead, we'll put him right on top. It looks like we might have to shrink him down a bit. If that's the case, then so be it. I'll move him to the side a bit. Actually, I'm he's about the same size. He's obviously thicker, but I'm going to leave him that way. Because he's pretty close. I guess I could uh, bring his radius in a bit, but I'm going to leave him that way. I like, I like that size. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here. We have the enemy movement. We have the enemy attack. We also have a trail renderer. Again, I didn't want to do any scripting in this one either, but I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we have the disallow multiple component thing going. As well as a required. So I'll do a require component. Type of, the type of we want is enemy attack. And I'm gonna do one more just for the trail renderer. Just to make sure everything's on there. I like it when I just have to attach one script and everything else gets attached for me. Especially if you have your default value set up really well. So I'll jump back in. Now I can grab that enemy movement. Go ahead, drag it onto, oh, well, we don't wanna do that. I'm gonna drag it onto the enemy droid. And boom, here we go. Now I will have to position some stuff here. That's fine. Go ahead, take a look at the enemy. We had the mesh. Uh, we had the laser, so I'm gonna have to add a laser to it as well. To be honest, I'm just gonna go ahead, drag and drop it up here. Uh, yep, we'll go ahead, we'll change it. That means I'm gonna lose it here, but that's fine. So let me see the trail renderer. I don't think we've done anything with it, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna copy component, come into the droid, uh, trail renderer, let's just go paste values. Yeah, I didn't think anything changed. Uh, we'll come back in. Enemy attack script, all we do is assign the laser. So I'm gonna go ahead and shrink those down. And enemy movement, uh, let's stick with the same values that we have here right now. Everything looks fine, we can go ahead and play around with them. Uh, I assume along the way you've been adjusting these values for the, the game to handle the way that you want it. So this is the best way to not lose those values. Of course, we're gonna have to tinker around again. That's fine, we can do that. So I need to adjust the enemy attack. I need to assign the laser. And I also need to go ahead and position the laser. So oh, another thing too is keep in mind that he's gonna move forward on the Z. Wherever the blue direction points, that's his forward. In this case, this is exactly what I want. So his laser is over there. So I'm actually gonna go ahead Zero it out, and it looks like it might actually be perfect for me right here. I'm gonna move it a little ways out. I want it to be kind of like in line with these four prongs. All right. Oh, wait a minute. The trail renderer, we still need to do that, didn't we? This is the, uh, the laser, the trail renderer. I don't want it to cast, receive. No shadows in general. And I still need a texture for this. But I don't want to go out and start hunting stuff down, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. I am going to go ahead and set the width to zero. So it tapers off as we go. And I think that's all I need to do now. So I'm going to go ahead and take the enemy. Let's just get rid of it. I'm going to take the enemy droid. We'll come into our prefabs. Drop them on the enemy. Go ahead, replace. Let's turn them off. 
hit play. And when we start up, let's wait and see one spawn. There we go, we've got an enemy. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. There we go, he's actually, I think, bigger than our ship right now. <laughs> That's fine, I'm sure our ship's gonna be bigger anyway. But there we go, we have our enemy. Hmm, what material is he using? He's using the standard. I want to be shy now, we'll stick with the standard. Uh, but let's go ahead, we'll unpause a bit, get him to fly around. Oh, look at him. He's, he's quite a bit bigger, isn't he? Look at them. I'm probably going to have to go ahead and play around with their, their turn radius and everything else. Uh, it'd be kind of nice to have like a little puff of smoke or something like that when they spawn in. Whoa, whoa. All right, so we got that done. Uh, the next video, let's go ahead and we'll work on something else. As always, I'll see you there. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>